Max Fried has strong outing against Marlins after uncharacteristically poor start to season. Miami, AP, Max Fried's start to the season has been frustrating. The Atlanta Braves left-hander didn't make it out of the first inning of his season debut against Philadelphia. In his second start, Fried needed 37 pitches to get out of a six-run first. Fried bounced back strongly Friday night, tossing six innings of one-run ball with four strikeouts in an 8-1 win over the Miami Marlins. The 30-year-old left-hander said he felt more like himself in the outing. He limited the Marlins to just four hits on 84 pitches. At this point, you kind of use anything as motivation, Fried said. Not performing to the standard that I hold myself to it's nice to go out there and have a good one and help this team win because I really put us in some holes. Fried was replaced by Pierce Johnson in the seventh inning of a seven-run game after giving up back-to-back -back hits. The 2022 NL Cy Young runner-up had allowed ten earned runs in five innings in an uncharacteristic start to the season, but Braves manager Brian Snitker said it was only a matter of time until Fried turned things around. Max needed that, Snitker said. He had a rough couple of first starts, and he rebounded and looked like his old self again. That was really good. It was really good stuff. It happens. If this happened in July after 10 starts or something like that, we wouldn't, care. But it becomes a topic, and Max was fine. Snitker said he was most impressed by Fried's fastball, which reached 96.1 miles per hour. Fried agreed, adding that his goal was to mix up speeds and keep hitters off balance. Fried's curveball was working really good, Marlins manager Skip Shoemaker said. He was stealing some early strikes and then was on the attack with the fastball up and the change up down and away. The timing was off. We were back and forth with the fastball, off speed. We couldn't sit on one pitch because he was having all his pitches working. The improvement is a welcomed sight for the Braves, who could lose ace right-hander Spencer Strider for the season after an MRI revealed damage to the ulnar collateral ligament in his right elbow. Strider was set to be evaluated further by Dr. Keith Meister in Arlington, Texas, at a date to be determined. Snitker did not have an update when asked before Friday's game. Alanis Thames Baltimore, AP, Freddie Peralta struck out 11 in 6 outstanding innings, and the Milwaukee Brewers hit 3 home runs in an 11-1 rout of the Baltimore Orioles that included a bench-clearing incident in the 6th inning Friday night. Gary Sanchez, Willie Adams, and William Contreras went deep for the National League-leading Brewers, 9-3, who have scored 47 runs in their last 5 games. They scored 3 runs each in the 2nd, 5th, and sixth to take the series opener. Intrigue build for the Toronto Jennifer Jones was mid-answer in a post-game media interview Friday when her youngest daughter tugged at her leg and gave her a reminder of why her decision to retire was so difficult. The legendary Skip's voice cracked as Skyla yelled out don't, just as her mother was discussing why the time was right to leave the sport. The hardest part for me is our daughters don't want me to retire, Jones said. So I feel bad because she really doesn't want me to. The Winnipeg skips long run. Toronto teen swimming sensation Summer McIntosh added another first place result to her resume Friday, winning the women's 100-meter butterfly at the Canadian Swimming Open. The 17-year-old from Toronto swam a personal best 57.19 seconds at the Pan AM Sports Centre. She touched 0.05 seconds ahead of defending Olympic champion Maggie McNeil of London, ONT. Mary Sophie Harvey of Trois-Rivières, Quebec, came third with a time of 58.05. McIntosh said she has a lot of respect for McNeil, both in Baltimore, AP, Freddie Peralta struck out 11 in six outstanding innings, and the Milwaukee Brewers hit three home runs in an 11-1 rout of the Baltimore Orioles that included a bench-clearing incident in the sixth inning Friday night. Gary Sanchez, Willie Adams, and William Contreras went deep for the National League-leading Brewers, 9-3, who have scored 47 runs in their last five games. They scored three runs each in the second, fifth, and sixth to take the series opener. Intrigue build for the 
The NHL legend shares five children with Janet Gretzky, and they've each chosen their own paths. Baltimore, AP, benches and bullpens emptied in the top of the sixth inning of Friday night's game between the Brewers and Orioles when Baltimore catcher James McKen came face to face with Willie Adams as the Milwaukee infielder came to bat. It wasn't clear what the two were discussing, but players from both teams quickly rushed the field, although no real fighting took place. Milwaukee led 9-1 at the time and had hit three home runs, including one by Adams an inning earlier. The Duke of Sussex took part in the Royal Salute Polo Challenge to benefit Harry's charity, Sente Bale, where he was joined by Argentine polo player, Nacho Figueres. Utica, NY. Alex Carpenter had two goals and two assists, and the defending champion United States advanced to the World Women's Hockey Championship semifinals with a 10-0 blowout win over Japan on Thursday night. Abby Murphy had two goals and an assist, while Captain Hillary Knight had one goal and three assists. Caroline Harvey, Tessa Janek, and Lacey Eden all pitched in with a goal and an assist. Kirsten Sims and Joy Dunn also scored while Megan Keller and Kendall Coyne Schofield had two. The round three tee times will appear here after the conclusion of round two. The leaderboard for the day two of the 2024 Masters at Augusta National is being constantly updated with the scores of top golf players. Wyndham Clark was not just unperturbed after a first round 73 at the Masters left him eight shots back of Bryson DeChambeau on Thursday. Clark might be one of the most accomplished Masters rookies ever. Not only did he triumph last year at Los Angeles Country Club for his first major, he also won the Wells Fargo Championship earlier in the year at Quail Hollow. John Rahm went from fighting for the green jacket a year ago to fighting back from below the cut line at the Masters. The defending champion was six over Friday and in danger of missing the weekend after a three-putt double bogey at the PAR 414. Ricky Fowler, Fred Couples, Jordan Spieth, Nick Faldo, Matt Fitzpatrick, and Terrell Hatton all joined the fun light-hearted tournament on April 10. Toronto Austin Matthews inched ever closer to an audacious goal-scoring milestone. The Maple Leaf sniper also grabbed another franchise record and passed a club icon in the process. Toronto, however, is now all but assured of starting the Stanley Cup playoffs on the road. Jesper Bratt scored his second goal of the game with 1.14 left in regulation Thursday as the New Jersey Devils downed the Leafs 6-5 on a night where Matthews bagged two more goals for a league-topping 68 on the season. Ali. Rashi Rice once looked to be a key part of the Chiefs' future, but the receiver is now facing eight felony charges stemming from a high-speed crash. On his very first shift in the NHL, Matt Rempa dropped the gloves and fought veteran Matt Martin. Since then, he has taken photos with adoring fans at a cheesecake factory and has had his name printed on custom t-shirts and chanted at Madison Square Garden, whether he is in the game or not. Rampamania is in full bloom for the New York Rangers and their 6'8", 241-pound rookie, who has become something of a hero. This is almost solely due to his five fights in his first two months on the job. The 42-year-old double world champion had been linked with moves to Mercedes and Red Bull. Tiger Woods on Friday broke the all-time Augusta national record with his 24th consecutive cut made at the Masters. Here's where he stands after round two. Shahei Otani's first Dodgers home run could not be authenticated by MLB. That doesn't mean it wouldn't have value to the woman who traded it to Otani for merchandise. <laughs>